your modules are first one cost of capital and capital structure theories these are the topics we'll get into your advanced corporate financial management what are the advantages and disadvantages of merger what are the motives of merger these are the topics we are going to learn in the topic called merger and acquisition A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adar Sir here, lecturing Vidya Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. Now we are discussing your topic called Advanced Corporate Financial Management, your fifth semester BBA, and this is your elective paper of finance, and one of the most interesting topic. In this, you will get equal amount of theory as well as equal amount of practical. so that you have to concentrate more on theory so that your theory is a foundation for your practical if you want to solve problems you should have the basic concept of theory also courses outcome usually we know that in the finance sector or any practical sector you will get a exposure of all the practical oriented topics like on successful completion of course the student will be able to understand the overall cost of capital and advance capital budgeting and your dividend decisions and merger and acquisition and finally we'll go with the theory topic of governance issues in financial management your modules are first one cost of capital and capital structure theories capital structure it is only theory part you have you will not have any practical topics in capital structure cost of capital it is very simple topic actually i'll go in detail while doing that particular topic cost of capital capital means what investment cost whatever cost incurred to get that capital is called cost of capital simple example i started business by investing 10 lakhs where i got the 10 lakh i borrowed from bank i borrowed from my friends i borrowed from my family what i am giving back to them i am paying interest to bank i am paying profit to my family members i am paying dividend to my friends these are my cost how much i spent to get that money is called as cost of capital in this we we'll learn the meaning definition computation of cost of capital problems and what are the weighted average cost of capital there is a interesting topic actually we call it as vac table weighted average cost of capital table we have some two three small small formulas once we done with those formulas we'll go with a table called vac table then theories of capital structure the net income approach the operating income approach traditional approach and mm hypothesis problems we have a problems small problems on mm hypothesis then we have module 2 that is a risk analysis in capital budgeting in this types of risk techniques of and risk adjustment in this we get all the discount rates will get probabilities will get standard deviations we will get so coefficient of variation these are the topics we'll get into your advanced corporate financial management your unit to risk analysis and capital budgeting so capital budgeting you will not get problems like what you have done in the financial management in this all related to your statistics the sum statistic part is included involved in this topic and the third one dividend decision your 15 mark major question you will get from dividend decision in this you will get mm approach modigling miller approach like modigling miller we are not doing here but the major one is gordon's model walters model you will get problems only on gordon's model and walters model merger and acquisition you will get more theory less problems what is merger what is acquisition what is capital or corporate restructuring reconstruction what are the advantages and disadvantages of merger and 
what are the motives of merger these are the topics we are going to learn in the topic called merger and acquisition ethical and governance issue there is a major one and your most of the theory questions will be included in ethical and governance issues your skill development the skill development is all about while doing the individual topics you will learn what it is first you have to understand what is cost of capital then you can do skill development activity on that particular topic individual what is dividend decision how the companies will decide the dividend decisions all those things you have to learn then you can go with the skill development these are your internal assessment marks your unit 1 and 2 will go for first internals and unit 3 will be second internals the third one it is always optional and the other internals will be unit 4 and unit 5 your question paper pattern will be your complete 60 marks will be your examination and remaining 40 marks will be your internal assessment that is done in the college your university exam will be for 60 marks paper your minimum marks for passing as you know that out of 60 you are supposed to score 21 and in the 40 if you get 90 you will be pass there is no compulsory to score 19 if you score 40 out of 60 you are pass scoring minimum 21 is compulsory and the minimum marks will be 40 aggregation of your internal assessment and your final examination these are the books for reference i uh, what i suggest whatever given in the college that is more than sufficient other than if you want any further reference you can go with pandey abrish gupta kanan jain maheshwari chandra and chandra d bose these are the books if you want you can refer so this is what your today's session just it is a highlight of your topic called advanced corporate financial management there is a lot to learn in this particular topic we'll go in detail of individual chapter thank you